next? What is the purpose of the work that you make? Yeah, so the purpose of the work I make um, when talking about murals is, uh, I guess, to try to be as accessible as possible. Um, just because I, I guess I come from a world of both high art, fine art, and then also muralism and graffiti. Um, typically, that high art, fine art exists in spaces that are difficult to access or just uh, the public isn't aware of or that just isn't part of their social sphere. Um, yeah, so in general, murals and graffiti are a way to uh, express a voice just out in the open in the public. Um, and sometimes those voices are literally just forced into your day-to-day -day lives. Um, and, and also like it bypasses like any sort of barriers. Um, so it's accessing all groups of people to the same degree um, in the way that, I don't know, like if, if you were to do some sort of mural downtown, uh, downtown being like a point of people uh, from very, very different economic backgrounds, um, everyone's seeing the same mural. Um, yeah, and it, I guess it, it can open dialogue for sure. It can change the day-to-day -day lives of people. Um, but I, I guess why I think that's so valuable and why we've even gotten to this point with graffiti and muralism is its origins as a illegal art form of vandalism being produced by young kids, like children ages 11 to 19, black and brown kids in New York and Philly, um, who literally just said, uh, I want my voice to be heard. Um, here's these comic book letters that I like. I'm going to do my nickname in that style. Um, and took it upon themselves to realize that, okay, subway cars, that's like a amazing form of communication that travels across like a whole city. Um, yeah, so it's just like entirely innovative as far as access and reach. Um, and to also know that the people creating it were people who regularly had their voices withheld. Um, yeah, so it's... In its its origins, muralism um, definitely owes all that it has to the history of graffiti and these little kids that invented it. Um, if it wasn't for these kids and their, uh, I guess, understanding of spray paint, we wouldn't be where we are now. Um, just because the majority of murals nowadays are made with spray paint, uh, which increases the speed of the process. Uh, increases like the the effects of it and just the quality of it as well um yeah so the purpose for sure is just to one make sure that anyone is able to see the message and then two i uh, i guess in my case anytime i'm given the chance to do something that's not quite as commercial um i want to have as much of a voice in it as possible um and I guess anytime it's less commercial, then it's less associated with the brand or corporation. So if I can stick some sort of like uh, political message in there or some sort of social message, like I, I will do it. Um, yeah. And even if it's just like the imagery of some sort of like social movement or political movement, uh, not like a direct text that says a, a specific thing, it's still familiarizing people with that imagery with, uh, those motifs. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, the, the functionality of like, of those, uh, art forms, uh, be, like high art, fine art versus like a like gallery art versus like art that you would see on a street. Like it, it has very, very different functions. Um, but that's not to say that the gallery can perform a similar function. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just that galleries regularly aren't putting in the type of effort to have a uh, community conversation and to actively invite people um, and to make them feel like it's a space for them to be invited into. Um, Cause even if a gallery exists in a impoverished neighborhood or a majority minority neighborhood, um, there still is some sort of sort of social stigma where people believe that, well, that's not for me. That's, uh, that's something fancy. That's something bougie. And, um, yeah, so it, it really takes like a, 
extreme amount of of social outreach to even like let people know that this is a not only a space for them to hear voices but to also express their voices and to have opportunities to show in those spaces gotcha cool thank you